Untamed Tactics is a turn-based tactic RPG battles connected by a story narration. This has just been released, developed by Grumpy Owl Games and published by Raven Age Games and 2P Games. They sponsored this video, so thank you very much for that. If you want to check it out on Steam, you can support this channel by using the link down in the pinned comment. Story. The story is that you are Greycoat, a rabbit general who gets shipwrecked, washes up on a mysterious land with your group of followers. There's there's a fox, there's there's a chameleon. Like it's it's a world of of anthropomorphic animals, if you didn't get that already. And you have to get through the land meeting characters that are friendly, hostile, some that are hostile first and then friendly. <laughs> And each of the four chapters of this colorful RPG adventure unveils a standalone tactical odyssey set in 2D landscapes with a different set of three main characters that can be switched to different characters later in the game. Some of those classes that at, after each journey you can actually change the class, which I appreciate, not having to go through the whole 8 to 10 hour main campaign with the same classes, you can change them. For example, changing uh, from a thief to an assassin or a soldier to a biologist, this will change the playstyle. And there are a lot of factors in the combat to think about. The classes, the abilities that you choose that after after some battles, mm -hmm. actually, you can switch out abilities for different abilities, level them up with gems, with artifacts, craft new runes and gems that will create different abilities. So the way that you approach combat can dramatically change from battle to battle and definitely going from map to map, even with the same party of characters. And you will have even special abilities to be charged using a parlay card to, for example, seduce enemy, to either escape to or away. turn to your side. Yeah. And each effect of the card can uh, change depending the personality type of the enemy. These so this is quite something yeah. each, unique to the game. Yeah. Each character has its own set of parlay cards. Then it's kind of random which ones you mm -hmm. get the options to use. Yeah. But you can choose them according to the situation. It's an, yeah, another layer. Yeah. It on can the quite combat. change the tide of the battle. Yeah, there is a lot of layers to the combat also because a very important factor, if you want to be victorious about some of these overpowered enemies, is the environment. There's going to be a lot of traps, there are exploding barrels, you can push other enemies if you have the ability, and using the environment to your advantage without blowing up your own characters, watch our gameplay if you want to know what I'm talking about, is a very important factor in getting victory. And there are four different difficulties for a campaign, and after you finish the campaign, the new adventure mode unlocks, where you play through procedural tale filled with unique battles, mm -hmm. so it will extend your time on the in the game. I also think there's a lot of replayability to try it with different characters, different abilities, going through even the campaign or mm -hmm. the adventure mode. And uh, the story gets quite diverse, and you're going to have... For better or worse, quite a lot of text, quite a lot of talking between the battles, but the choices that you make in the main story are going to affect where the story goes and what kind of options you have yeah. later on down the road. So that just leaves one question. Should, should you, you play, play it? it? But first, you should know that on this channel we usually cover free games all across the gaming universe. This is not one of those. It is newly released. It is, however, right now on sale uh -huh. on Steam, I think until September 4th. So jump on that and be sure to subscribe if you want information about newly released games and free games. I am a fan of turn-based tactical games. Yes, you are. And I think uh, this one is a decent one. Mm -hmm. There are some uh, quite special things that makes this game more special, like destructible environment mm -hmm. where uh, there's some physics that you can uh, do double or triple damage. Like if you push someone, he knocks somebody else down. And uh, while the animations are not the best, uh, they're very simple, mm -hmm. the visuals is quite simple as well. There are some small problems with AI when they even kill themselves mm -hmm. in uh, lava levels, they'll step into lava, right. disappear. But there are still four different difficulty levels, mm -hmm. so it doesn't have to be easy, but on adventure mode it, it sometimes feels too easy mm -hmm. because after finishing each level you're gonna get a set of new runes, new abilities every single time. So I feel like it's overlooted the game mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. but overall this is a 
good experience i would recommend it and i think after developers fix some small issues this is going to be a great game mm -hmm. so yes mm -hmm. you should play it i am not a fan of turn-based games as any, anyone who watched this channel knows um so uh, spoiler alert it's kind of surprising that i am actually mm -hmm. going to say yes to this and that okay. i really enjoyed it but i'll ex i'll explain why um it's also surprising because usually I'm really drawn into a game by its story. And mm -hmm. here the story is okay. It's yeah. interesting, but the characters don't change a lot. There's kind of archetypes among the different personalities. And uh, there's no voiceover with the character. Very lim very, yeah. Just the narrator. Just yeah. the narrator. Yeah. 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 A lot of text. And the story is not very deep. It's pretty stereotypical. Yeah. So it wasn't the story that pulled me in. But the turn-based combat, as someone who is not a big fan and not that familiar with turn-based combat, really pulled me in and was very engaging, I think, for two reasons. There's a lot of factors to think about mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of options, and it felt very unrestricted about what you can do. What I mean yeah. by that is some turn-based games that said first you have to move and then you do an action. It seems very rigged. Here, you can do anything in any order and then the other things. You can actually do everything. You yeah. can move, you can, uh, you can attack two times and then push someone. You can move, do an action, and if you still have action points, yeah. you can use the rest of your movement points and then another action. And so this ma gave me a real sense of freedom and of not making big mistakes. If I did something that I didn't want to do, I thought, okay, well, but we can, we can adapt to that. Using the environment, using all the different skills that stack on with other characters made the combat really interesting and engaging. So because of that alone, I, I say this is really worth playing and really interesting for people, even who are not big fans, maybe especially people who are not big fans of maybe. like traditional yeah. turn-based tactical like games. Like beginners to turn-based, yeah. yeah. The only thing I would say is that I wish some of those factors, and there's so many elements to the combat, I wish they had introduced them kind of slowly mm -hmm. throughout the mm -hmm. game, because mm -hmm. a lot of it comes all at once, and then it can get a little bit repetitive later on. Now, it depends which classes you take and which abilities you take, which are constantly changing, but it does start to feel a little bit samey towards the end of the That's game. That's why I wanted to mention at the end uh, of this review how you should play this game. You should uh, do like two battles each day. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't play mm -hmm. the whole thing at once because it will feel too repetitive. That's that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. And if you are experienced with turn-based combat, then definitely start on a higher difficulty. Don't mm. don't be afraid yeah. of that because it's going to be a little bit more challenging. Yeah. I think that would that would make it more interesting. Overall, though, I find the combat really interesting and fun. Like it yeah, just was fun. really free and enjoyable with some fun. Some, characters. Sometimes feel even more like a puzzler. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And some really funny, silly situations also. You can like stack up lots of exploding barrels, draw the enemy into it, and then explode it. Things yeah. like that. There's just lots of fun to be had in a really charming, colorful environment. So definitely check it out. Uh, we both give it a thumbs up. Remember that it is on sale on Steam until September 4th. You can check it out. Once again, thank you to Grumpy Owl Games and Raven Age Games for sponsoring this video. Stay tuned if you want more information about newly released games and free games all over the gaming universe. And hope to see you next time. Bye. Bye.